Hi, I'm Joy Bollinger, Artistic Director of Bruce Wood Dance Dallas, and I'm here with company member Megan Story, and today we're going to talk to you a little bit about Bruce Wood's Red. My first introduction to Red was when it premiered at Bass Hall in 2001, and I was in the audience. And I vividly remember sitting on the edge of my seat and it felt like I held my breath for the entire <laughs> 20 minutes of the work, which I know I didn't. But I think from the moment it started till the end, I barely moved and I was just mesmerized by the music, the physicality, the commitment of the dancers on stage. And here we are, Red has been done many times since 2001 and remains an audience favorite. What was your first introduction to the work and what is the thing that stood out to you when you first saw it? My first experience with Red, I had just joined the company. This was in late 2017, early 2018. I remember being in rehearsal and watching it and the music is so compelling from the very beginning and the physicality of the choreography, it's so driven and it's so unifying. You can see how it brings the dancers together because of how difficult and challenging it is. And I remember after it was over, it feels like this full experience has happened even as you know, sitting on the outside mm -hmm. and it sticks with you for a long time. And so being a part of the work now as a dancer is really special. One of the things that Bruce may have done purposefully when creating the work is it doesn't stop moving physically, it doesn't allow for breaks. So <laughs> it has remained one of the most challenging yes. pieces in the rep, um, talking from the inside of the work out, once you were in the work and you felt that physicality and the sheer athleticism mm -hmm. of the piece, how did you adapt to that? And what steps do you take to make sure that you can finish the work and have the strength <laughs> to get through it and the endurance? It is so challenging. And really until you do it, you don't know mm -hmm. what it's gonna take. You have to just stay present and not get too ahead of yourself. Mm -hmm. You also have to rely on the other company members that are with you for the strength to get through. Bruce knew he was doing that. He would say the most important individual in the room is not any one person in here, it is the group. And even the patterns and the directions that the dancers run in, in this piece, you cannot give up. Mm -hmm. You will take out three people behind you in line. You cannot shift off course. You cannot make something easy for yourself and expect uh, the group to make it through. It takes 100% commitment from everybody. You specifically have a role in this piece that you've done a few times. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna title it The Spinning Girl, <laughs> even though I don't think that's ever been a real title. It was originally the track that Kimina Kaido did. And specifically in the first section, this individual is not paired up with a partner in some of the sequences and just mm -hmm. kind of is in this otherworldly flowing state. Talk about how you navigate that specific track and, um, and also ground it emotionally while completing it physically. Yeah, it's challenging physically. I think for me, when I'm approaching the track mentally and emotionally, I think of it as like, this is sort of the character that's like tying all of these events together. It's a significant part. It's a little yeah. bit different in a way. And there's times where that individual, yeah, is like the thread. Bruce completed this work in 2001. And he said, it felt as if he was having like a, like a recurring dream, like something almost haunting him, the feeling of something coming. And after he'd finished the work, um, just a few weeks later, if even that long, 9-11 happened and he said I feel like like that's what I was made like that was the feeling that I was making this about having no idea um, what was in store when you do the work how do you dive into it on the emotional side emotionally is it's challenging because the idea is that when you begin the work, you're not starting it from nothing, but it really feels like it's a continuation of something that has already happened, but maybe outside of the audience's view. So the audience is sort of beginning this journey in the middle of something that's been going on. It takes a lot of emotional and mental 
discipline to put yourself there before you've even gotten onto the stage and then to carry it through the entire work. It pushes you to somewhere that you didn't know you had within you. Mm -hmm. Bruce loved Philip Glass and he used his music quite a few times. And in this work, the music is quite repetitive. Mm -hmm. And Bruce allowed that to be mimicked in the choreography at times but he also allowed that to serve the choreography. Talk about how this music specifically makes you feel and how it can compel movement or ideas or thoughts mm -hmm. within the dance. This music is very stirring. It's very arresting, even though it starts you know, in a smaller place of a sort and then it continues to grow. It's the first note. It's like you can tell something is happening. And what I like about how the choreography is set, it continues to build on itself in, in a way that feels natural. And when you listen to the music, there aren't many places where you can pinpoint like this change happens. It's just, mm -hmm. it's so gradual that it's like all of a sudden you, you realize you're in a new place, but you don't realize how you got there. And the choreography is like that too. It starts somewhere, it continues to build. And before you know it, it's like, how did we get here? But we took all the steps to get there. Um, and even the end of the piece visually is somewhat of a reflection of the beginning. And that was something Bruce actually said at one point. He said, this piece comes and it happens here on stage, but you need to do it as if that mm -hmm. step took you somewhere else and the whole thing started over again. In a way, I think that makes it feel both full circle and never ending at the same time. Mm -hmm. So it's really well crafted in that way because the music and the movement they work so well together. Come see Bruce Woods Red at our program titled Touch at Moody Performance Hall on November 15th, 16th, and 17th. You can find tickets at BruceWoodDance.org. We hope to see you there.